is Gideon, it's your boy Tyler back here with another video, and in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about how I just put a free Invincible Kobe Bryant in NBA 2K23, my team, out of the takeover, kind of event takeover pack. Now, here's the deal, guys. Obviously, I'm not one to hype up this Invincible Kobe. I don't personally love the card. But what I will say is, this gives me some sort of hope for the future, right? Now, you guys might be wondering, Ty, why were you even grinding this? Is, is, you know, is it even worth me grinding? And I mean, that's totally up to you. I've said it all week. Even if you pull the Invincible Kobe, to me specifically, it's not like he's a be the best point guard in the game. But I will say I've made a lot of MT, made a lot of progress as we have went through things. And so I was just opened up the takeover packs. I saw this dark matter glow and I was like, OK, it's probably just going to be the worst version of Kobe, right? The Kobe that probably is not very good. But then 2K blessed me with the invincible Kobe Bryant out of the takeover pack, right? You guys can see maybe I don't know if the odds are juice because it's the end of the event. I don't know what it is, but I will say it gives me hope for this upcoming week and with the Shaquille O'Neal event, right? Wish it would have been uh, T-Mac. I wish, you know, hopefully it happens for me and I can get Invincible Shaq as well because he would play over Mobley. But the fact of it is, I take an Invincible Kobe Bryant, man. I will take him. I'll, I'll try him out and ultimately see what he is, uh, you know, going to do for me. But I've made so much MT from playing Triple Threat Offline. I still haven't pulled one out of the vault. Obviously, there's always that chance to pull one out of the vault. But you guys can see, I've played a ton of triple threat offline games. And for me, I feel like it was a matter of time before I pulled something good, right? I've pulled a couple pink diamonds, pulled a lot of Ami stuff like that. But this was our first real dark matter pull. And the fact that it's an invincible is uh, is is even crazier, right? Now, this Kobe, I, I wish Endgame Kobe was, you know, available in this event as well, because obviously... This Invincible Kobe, I mean, is he great? I mean, no, he's fine, right? He's he's definitely usable. You can use him and have success with him. He just doesn't have any of the end game sigs, no like new release, anything like that. So, you know, I can't sit there and, and, and gas Kobe, but I, I, I like it, right? I like the fact that there's at least a chance to pull Dark Matters because before I pulled it, I didn't even know if there was a chance. And I mean that with everything. Like, I really didn't even know if I had a chance to pull a guy like an Invincible Kobe or not, right? I've seen it on the timeline, seen it on Reddit, seen it all those places. But I want to make this video to showcase, guys, it's possible, right? And so if you are just starting my team, it's definitely something I recommend you guys doing is, is grinding for MT. Again, I would say, you know, don't expect to pull Kobe, anything like that. But if I got this card on my No Money Spent Squad series, he would play. He would absolutely play. And again, he's not the best card in the game, anything like that. But for me, he's a card I can use, have fun with, and just hope with Kobe Bryant. At the end of the day, a lot of people love, you know, Kobe Bryant. A lot of people, like, he's, a, he's a, you know, Kobe's their favorite player of all time. For me, I would never really, you know, love Kobe. He was a little bit before I got into the NBA heavy, like 20, you know, what, 2010, 20, or 2009. Like, that was, like, when I was pretty young. But I will say, like, in his prime, Kobe was absolutely elite. But the thing is, guys, this takeover event is very useful. I, I know people don't like the recycled content. Yes, I wish it was endgame Kobe because I would 100% use him and he would definitely make the squad. But at the end of the day, guys, I got to appreciate it in some aspects, right? Because I've been playing a lot of triple threat offline and to see it finally get rewarded is, is, is actually a, a good thing. Now, again, Sure, I wish it was new content. Sure, I wish it was endgame. Sure, the event could be better. I'm not saying the event is perfect, but I'm trying to give you guys some sort of hope of, okay, you know what? Maybe it is worth you, worth you guys, you know, playing a few games for it. Because again, I've made quite a bit of MT off of the event. Obviously, prize balls, all of those things. But when I saw the Dark Matter glow, guys, to say I was surprised uh, it is, is definitely an understatement. And I mean, I, I, you guys can say, oh, it's creator luck, all this stuff. Man, 2K doesn't want to bless me. 2K does not like me. So if they wanted to give a creator luck, 
Trust me, guys, it probably would not be me. So as far as this is concerned, guys, I'm excited for the Shaquille O'Neal event today, guys. Hoping that I can pull an invincible Shaq to add to the squad. Shaq and Kobe, they've got that duo. Put them together. Maybe they can make some magic happen for me. So that's the ultimate goal with these events is that you do pull the invincibles out of them. More than likely, you're going to pull these, uh, you know, the sapphires, the amis, the emeralds, those types of things. I have, again, pulled a diamond, a pink diamond. And if you just look at my Kobe Bryant collection, you guys can see kind of what I've pulled. Right, and, and if it has an auctionable buy, that means I pulled it. So I haven't pulled this yet, but I've pulled the Dark Matter Invincible. I've pulled the Tis of Season. I've pulled the Transcendent. I've pulled the uh, Dark, uh, Diamond and Ami Transcendent, as well as the uh, Emerald. And you guys can see wherever the Kobe event is, or I can pull up the tweet from my team last week. I mean, there are a ton of different Kobe Bryants you could have pulled. I mean, even if you look, yeah, let's go back to last week. When we did to see the Kobe Bryant takeover event, right? I could have got the highlight reel Kobe, right? I, I could have got the uh, all-time Kobe. I've got everything else as far as the Kobe, every jersey, every arena, stuff like that. But 2K decided to bless me today in a big time way. And I'm a massive fan of it. Now, again, hopefully you guys have my luck with the Shaq event. And again, just hopefully you can make some MT with it. In an hour, guys, you're probably going to make, if you use prize bowls after the vaults, you're probably going to look around 15, 20,000 MT, which today, I mean, let's say you play triple threat offline for an hour. I mean, you're going to be able to afford some really good cards. Like you can afford T-Mac, Chris Stapps, a lot of good cards with that MT specifically. So again, that's kind of my advice. The reason I wanted to make this video is so you guys know it is possible to see Invincibles ahead of the Shaq event that ultimately is coming today. I wish you guys nothing but good luck. Obviously, 2K bless me in a big time way. Maybe they up odds at the very end of the event. They've done that with things, you know, players in the vault, stuff like that before. Maybe that's something they do with these that I will continue to research and keep an eye op or an eye out for it uh, for the upcoming few weeks. Obviously, guys, new end games, new new content today, guys. Yeah, yeah, end games are rinse and repeat type of things. But free dark matter added to my squad. Yes, I wish it was the no money spend squad series, but it is what it is. I can get busy still with Kobe Bryant at the end of the day. Let me know your thoughts on the takeover pack. Have you guys had any success with them? Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are doing it as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.